Hello everybody, I'm Brian with Servo City. I'm here to tell you about a few new products that we have available on our website, servocity.com. I'm gonna first start off with our new gear motor boards. These things are really, really cool. We use them all the time in our R&D department. Everybody out there that's watching has built a robot or built any kind of device. Um, you're unsoldering wires off motors, solder them around or change them around or trying to daisy chain motors to one another. It's a real pain. And so we developed these little boards as you can see here. They'll slip right on the back of any of our gear motors um, and as well as other motors, other manufacturers as well. But um, slip right on, simply solder them, 0.100 row pin, uh, uh, already on the boards, pre-soldered. All you need to do is solder them on the back of your motor. Um, they also offer several different solder pads. So if you're trying to daisy chain them and you need larger wire for heavier amp applications, you can certainly do that. Really, really make it versatile. The first thing we do when we're starting a big uh, robot project is we go grab our motors, solder these boards on. That way there's no, there's no fuss in trying to change motors around or change, uh, change polarity, things like that. It makes it super easy. We, like I said, we offer them for all of our gear motors, even our little small uh, micro uh, gear motors as well. We offer them for the backs of those too. So anyway, be sure to check those things out. Second product uh, is another product, obviously, that we use a lot in R&D. is our new potentiometer uh, board. Um, as you can see here, um, has a potentiometer right in the middle. Potentiometer has a six millimeter shaft, so it's really easy to adapt to whether it's any of our gear motors or, or put one of our couplers on here. But uh, the potentiometer comes pre-mounted and it also comes with two sets of header row pins. You can actually solder header row pins right on the back or on the front, depending on the configuration and which, how, you're, how you're mounting it. And we designed this board primarily to fit all of our Actobotics components, such as our channel. So this thing can slip right into our channel just like that. It can be right through the center hole and piece of channel. You can mount it you know, down inside the channel like this. Lots of different configurations. Simply use some standoffs, 632 standoffs, and space it however you would like. An example would be, let's say a project like this right here, we have our brand new digital servo controller um, that actually has some feedback. And so basically what it allows you to do is, let's say you can take any of our gear motors that we offer, uh, mount them in line or at least have a gear drive system or something over the potentiometer, hook them up to uh, our, one of our new digital boards or a, 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 a Raspberry Pi or, or a motor driver or something like that that has feedback. Simply put it in line. Now you can actually build your own servo utilizing gear motors, which is really, really cool. So if you're building a project and there's no servo out there that has the power you need, Grab one of our gear motors, build a gearbox, hook one of the potentiometer, uh, uh, potentiometers in line, and there you go. You got your own massive, uh, extremely powerful servo. So anyway, super cool product. Um, like I said, we use them all the time and uh, something we always uh, grab out of the parts bin when we're certain, starting a new project. So slide all these over to the end right here on this side of the table and show you this bad boy. As many of you know, we came out with a line called the uh, Rut Rover Robots, and the first first few were, uh, you know, little little cool little robots you could do lots of different things on it with, but none of them really had any any suspension to be able to go do really really cool stuff like you know cut out cut across your backyard and go over dirt. But the Rut Rover is a robot to be able to do that. So, uh, or excuse me, the Bogey Robot in the line of the Rut Rovers. So the new Bogey Robot is just that. It comes with a it actually incorporates a Bogey type. Uh, suspension. As you can see here, this thing can climb over just about anything. Uh, we, it actually offers real uh, rubber tires, uh, five inches of ground clearance. The motors are 140 RPM uh, uh, gear motors. These motors are also pre-wired with little pins on the end. That way you can mount your breadboard on the bottom or on the top. Um, we really like to, with these motors anyway, the first thing we usually grab is a 7.4 volt LiPo battery or in, any rechargeable battery will, will actually do, but or, or anything between 6 and 7.4 four volts but you can mount on the bottom or the top as well as any electronics you can grab you know spark fun makes a really cool board red board bolts right on this thing as well as any raspberry pi or arduino with a motor driver easily bolt right on this as well and one of the cool really cool functions features that we like about this row is the fact that it offers the actobotics channel pattern on here so you can see right here you see the pattern here on the front and the back and basically all over the place is that now you can bolt channel to this robot. You can build a robot arm to go on this robot. You want to do a little mission. You can put some ping sensors on the side, a little GoPro camera. Really, really easy. No more double siding stuff on your robot and trying to zip tie stuff to the robot. Simply bolt it on for a much more rigid, much more professional type robot. So anyway, there you go. If you have any questions about any of these products, uh, just shoot us an email. We'd be more than happy to answer your questions as soon as we can get to them. So you guys take care. We'll talk to you soon.